So uh, people tried to come to in the water because everybody hurt and hot and uncomfortable must be so they tried to call, cool off the water. Mm-hmm. And almost um, people pushing into the water to me, but I, I was afraid of water and I didn't want to it. So I just climbed up and then crossed the bridge to go to the other side. Other side was fortunately a house is broken down but not burning and not uh, so many people hurt but people all run to that way dire- that direction so I just followed that as soon as I crossed the bridge and the people tried to help people to put to the soy soybean oil soybean oil or any kind of cooking oil put to the people who burned, putting on. Mm-hmm. Then I was walking, then uh, they put to the, my hand the oil. Then first time I felt a pain. The first time I looked to my hand, the burn. See, fortunately that day I had a long sleeve clothes because the August and the hot sun and be hot, so I wear the long sleeve to cover the, my arm for the sun. So I didn't burn my head, arms, just shoulder, and one arm had a um, material stick on, then burn. And then here, the more material sort of a loose. I felt first time painful, so I couldn't put down uh, hurt. So put it up with the helps. That's why people put the hand up like this. Mm-hmm. Then yeah. I felt my neck was sort of a uh, swollen uh, sensation of feel, but no pain. Then my I don't see myself. But I could feel my face begin to swallow. Mm-hmm. My neck begin to swallow, swallowing. Mm-hmm. Then um, I begin to feel mouth getting mm-hmm. hard is to talk, you know, swallowing. Yet yeah, no pain. That's amazing. Then I'm probably a couple miles away, I moved with uh, other people. So many people go the same directions. No choice, I just follow. Then I went to the uh, elementary school. And the Japanese soldiers was there and helping, he was helping uh, people who were hurt. Then I went there, I felt, oh, somebody will help me. Because I saw the soldiers and people not hurt, those people helping people hurt. So I sat down to be under the tree. Tree blood has a shadow. So I sit down there and go back. I done. That's it. I remember. That was my last time that my eye was able to open. After that, I couldn't open my eye. <laughs> Door. When you woke up, you no, you didn't see. You couldn't open your I, eyes. I woke up consciously, but I couldn't open my eyes. Yeah. So always I was in the pitch black. I don't know day or night. I couldn't tell. All I can say to the many people are looking for other names. Uh, I I get bummed here and screwed up there. 
my house into here, the center of the bomb into here, in that direction. And so my father said, anybody's child, we have to go get it because a lot of the money come. And then my mother, every day, go out to look for every dead body to open or look. And that when she, she hears gathering of people hurt places, she go there calling my name every day. And that day she came home so tired, she just sat down. Then she, the, my parents heard that man message. So my mother said, I go with you. My father even stopped her because she's so tired. But she said, no, I go with you with you people. So they came to rescue me. Mm. But that at the time, as I said to you, I want to water, name, and conscious, unconscious, you know, back and forth, mm -hmm. back and forth. Then, first time I had a dream, but now think about that one dream. What a beautiful sun, sunny days, and they had a pumpkin flower. You ever seen pumpkin flower? Yellow, the big mm -hmm. yellow flower. Sure. It was all over. Then uh, Will was there. So I said, oh, there's water, Will. So I tried to heavy my head body, cross, oh, cross up to the Will, and then put it in the change it to stream, like a little water streams. Oh, the water stream, I can drink water. It's uh, tried so hard to get there, almost get there, and it became a river, and pretty soon river turned into the ocean. Oh, the blue, blue, big ocean. And still, at the time, I have oh, water the ocean. Then all of a sudden, my body was like a jet into the sky and then go into the place was real gold melted it. Somebody put into you there. Hmm. What look like. Hmm. And same time, my eyes are so beautiful and shining. And then my body is like a feather. No more heavy, no struggling to go to board, no kind. At the same time, my ear, my eyes, of course, beautiful. My ear sounds good and tastes so good. Happy, feeling so happy, happy, happy. Can't explain the happiness. Mm. If I said happy or taste good, that's nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I was so happy then. Or in a gold, I'm sort of falling, floating in a gold. I heard Shigeko like, way back in my ear. I'm here, I said. Same time, all this fear the dream, sort of like a dream. Mm -hmm. Then, black. Yeah, I can see something down there. I still remember, sort of white, somebody wear white, and a little light there. I don't know what the light was. Then at the same time, I heard voice said, this child had a strong heart, that's why she survived. 